Hi, my name is Strong. I'm the CEO and battery designer at Zopac Medical. This video will explain the difference between our professional series and portable series of Zopac Explore CPAP batteries. The key difference between the two series is the UPS technology. The professional series are designed more for patients who are worried about power outages. They want uninterrupted sleep. At the same time, they run humidifier and maybe even heat a hose. And they want a minimum of eight hours of sleep. They still want the battery to be small and portable in case they need to travel or move around the house. The portable series, on the other hand, are designed for patients who are less worried about power outage at home, but want the smallest and most compact CPAP battery for travel, uh, such as flying on an airplane, going camping, and uh, RV trip, etc. But still, would like to have some support for uninterrupted uh, power supply in case there's a power outage. So we created two series to support all patient needs. So the key difference is that they have different capability in UPS. So the way UPS works is that when there's no power outage, the battery is running on wall power and it has a pass through. The power comes through the pass through the more the current, the more the power goes through, the more we have to provide cooling to support, which takes room and also weight. So if you look at in front of me, the portable series is smaller in general than the professional series. At the same battery capacity, it's about 40% smaller and 20% lighter, such as Explore 8200 and Explore 8000. They both have the same 300 watt hour capacity, but the Explore 8000 have a much more powerful UPS built in. So the portable series are some of the lightest, smallest battery for CPAP and they have UPS protection for uninterrupted sleep, but for only running CPAP without heated humidifier and heated hose. The UPS technology for the professional series are designed to include running humidifier and even heated hose. The Explore 5500 and Explore 8000 can run uninterrupted sleep with UPS technology with humidifier up to the middle setting, but not with heated hose. The Explore Oxygen, which we also call it a nickname, the beast, because this one can handle almost anything. So it will handle UPS protection, running humidifier, and running heater hose. We got input from a lot of AirSense 10 and AirCurve 10 ResMed users who want to use auto climate control, which turns on heater hose and heater humidifier. And they want to have a minimum of eight hours sleep and also UPS technology that can support them provide uninterrupted sleep when a power outage occur. So we introduced that this year and we created the beast called Zopac Explore Oxygen and uh, now there's a solution for them. So within the each series there are multiple selections. The difference is 
the battery capacity. And we recommend you to select the battery that gives you at least eight hours of sleep and more if you need to. In the portable series, the capacity starts with Explore Mini at 100 watt hour up to Explore 8200 is 300 watt hours. In the professional series, we have Explore 5500 at 160 watt hours and Explore Oxygen almost 600 watt hours. The Explore 5500 um, has a uniqueness because you can still fly with this unit. So we want to make sure that one of the professional series can still provide the opportunity in case somebody needs to fly. And um, within the portable series, we wanted to offer higher, longer runtime. So we introduced Explore 8200 this year and also uh, Explore 5700. And um, so somebody can go camping and have much longer runtime. Um, but please note, within the portable series, uh, there's one battery you cannot fly with, which is the Zopac Explore 8200. For more information on how the UPS works, and also to select the proper capacity, think about them as uh, small, medium, large, and extra large. So you just want to pick the one that you need without paying for more or carrying something bigger um, than you need or choose something that uh, doesn't provide enough. So you can look up our website under product information and you will see run chart and you can look at your machine, your settings, and what's the runtime. And again, please pick a battery that provides you at least eight hours of sleep. And there's another video that talks about power consumption versus runtime. Please take a look at that and uh, it will help you to understand a lot more how long batteries will last. Thank you.